Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a long awaited, I don't even know if anyone's waiting for it, but we're like more than halfway through January and I'm finally doing a December TBR. I also never did a, or sorry, December wrap up and I'm also doing a January TBR because I realized I never did that. So yes, January is approaching, it's closer to being over than it is being just started. I'm gonna include the books I've already read this month since I've I've actually read 16 books this month somehow. I don't know. I'm kind of killing it, one would say. Um, but one being me. But So we're just gonna try to recap what I read in December and then I'll do a quick little January TBR for the books that I'm hoping to read in the next 12 days. First book I read in December was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I ended up rating this five stars. I thought this book was amazing. It was everything I needed in a little romanticy. It was very reminiscent of Hunger Games and Red Queen, which I really enjoyed both of those book series. And so I really, I just really, really enjoyed and loved this um, book. I'm excited for Reckless, which I think comes out in June or July. I don't know. I think it left on, it didn't necessarily leave on a cliffhanger, but it left me feeling the same way I felt in Red Queen, where it's just like, I need to immediately read more. Um, and so I'm super excited for that one. Or yeah, I rated that one five stars. I Love Holly by Emily Stone. Emily Stone is by far my favorite um, holiday, Christmas, winter author. She creates such beautiful stories. Not only are they books that can get you in a holiday spirit or in a winter spirit, they also are just books that kind of touch on grief and like different aspects. And I think that's really interesting. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just I don't read that type, those types of books, so I don't get it very often. But she just says it so, so good. So I rated Love Holly five stars. It was just so beautiful. You guys definitely need to read it. I read Parable of the Sower um, by Octavia Butler. This is actually the first Octavia Butler I've ever read. I rated it four stars. It was so good. It is a science fiction novel mostly. I think it's maybe a little dystopian, but it's mostly... Um, science fiction. And this is our common book for KU this school year 2023 to 2024. And yeah, it was just so good. It was, yeah, I don't even know. I keep on just saying everything was good, but honestly, the month of December, I read all four and five star books, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. I read Consumed by Aja Barber. This is a nonfiction book about colonialism, climate change, consumerism, and kind of everything else between, I guess. I actually really enjoyed this. I was pretty nervous when I was told that I have to read that because I had to read it for the comic book selection for next year. I was a part of the committee and so we had to test out different books and this was one of them. I did end up rating it five stars because I just felt like the language that Aja used was very consumable. I don't know. I felt like it was very easy for me to read and I... I just really liked her voice and it was definitely one of the best call to action books I've read. It definitely had me reflecting on the amount I consume and that's why I got rid of five bags of clothes in my closet. Not because I was running out of space because of this book probably. Then I read Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. This is the second book in the Red Rising Saga. This book took me forever to read. Golden Sun, pretty good. It took me too long to read though and that's why I ended up reading it four stars. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this series. I I really, I really don't know. We'll see. I read Time is a Mother by Ocean Wong. Um, my friend Major lent me this book and I ended up reading it five stars beautiful poetry. I loved it so much. Then I read Dog, Dog Songs, which is poems by Mary Oliver. Again, Major Lent lent this to me. I think this is honestly my all-time favorite poetry collection I've ever, ever read. It, it was just so beautiful, and I want my own copy, honestly, because it's just one of those books that I want to see on my shelf, like, every single day. Um, but yeah, the artistry in it was very good, or the illustrations, and... Yeah. I guess the last two books I read, holiday books, I both rated three stars because they're the classic like feel good but not really like that substantial. And the first one being Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. It was a typical holiday romance, fast paced, kind of love at first sight-esque. Um, this one was kind of a second chance romance a little bit, kind of, not really. It was more like they've always had a crush on each other and then they're finally doing something with it. So super cheesy, 
um but it was pretty good it also had to do with like the music industry which i think is really fun and then the last book i read in 2023 or the last book i read in december was a christmas fix by lucy score um it took me too long to read it but honestly it was really cute i think it i think i liked it over wreck the halls so if i had to like show that in a rating i'd probably rate it like a 3.5 maybe um i liked it because it was single dad i just single dad some some reason just it just gets me i don't know it's something about it um, books i read in december i honestly have no idea how many books that is i did surpass my goal of 100 books i think i ended up reading 111 let me just double check really fast yeah i read 111 books last year so i surpassed my goal thankfully and now let's do a quick january tbr honestly i didn't even think of any books that i wanted to read which is really bad i do know that my goal this year is to try to get through at least 50 percent of my physical tbr i would love to finish all of it but i just know that that's like probably not gonna happen but we're gonna try so books that i would like to finish the this um month off with are books that are on my physical tbr the first one being love designed by lauren asher love lauren asher i actually have only read the dreamland Bill billionaire series but i love that series so much i definitely want to read the dirty air series i think that's by her um and then of course this lake wisteria series i don't even know if that's what it's called but it's set in lake wisteria which we see in the last book of the dreamland billionaire so that's the first book. This book I want to read is Ugly Love. I've actually already read this and I don't really like Colleen Hoover anymore. I definitely did like her a lot because her books are just so easy to read. But now that I've grown up a little bit, um, I just realized how bad her books are. I feel bad saying that. But the only reason I'm going to read it is it's actually a gift. Uh, I don't think my sister watches this, so I think it's fine. But Ugly Love used to be her favorite book. It's been a while since I asked her, so I'm sure it's changed. But I bought a copy to annotate and then give her, uh, give it to her for her birthday. So that's the next book I would like to read on my physical TBR. And we're just going to end it off with one more because I feel like three is a good number. Um, because I'll probably read more this month. It just probably won't be on my TBR so, or my physical TBR. I honestly think the last book I'm going to put on my TBR is Room. Um, this, I watched the movie and then I found this book at a Goodwill or something. And I've actually recently been getting TikToks of the movie and it kind of has made me want to read the book. So I think I'm actually going to read that. I think it's by Emma, Emma Donna, Donahoe, I think. So I think those are all the books I'm going to try to read off of my physical TBR obviously in a couple weeks because we're already almost done with January I'll let you know what I read this month but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys